I, for one, am feeling shocked and appalled at how much damn makeup I have. My name's Hannah, and I'm on a quest to have less stuff, or at least have like a more manageable assortment of things. I figured a good way to start would be to take an inventory of my makeup. I also did one of my clothing, which I have not yet added up, and I'm nervous. But we're going to be talking about the makeup today. So I did add up the numbers, and they're, uh, they're a little surprising. What, baby? What? You have something to say, Zorro? <laughs> you have something to say? So I just wanted to make this as kind of like a reference point. Thought it might be interesting to look back on at the end of the year. But I can kind of already see the value of it putting into perspective just how many things I have. There's some things that I, I kind of conceive of my collection of having like a small amount of some things, and I really don't. So we'll get into those. I'm going to start with the most manageable category and that is my face products. For face primers, I have five, and five is kind of an interesting number considering I often don't use face primers. I often use kind of like tinted moisturizer type foundations that I don't use primers with. Zorro, you're being very noisy. Next up, I have a category that I called moisturizers or SPFs that I would, that I keep with my makeup and I use under foundation, and I have four of those. Next up is concealers. I only have two, which is kind of interesting because I feel like I could use more. You know, sometimes it's nice to have different formulas or different shades for different parts of my face, different purposes, under eyes, pimples, whatever. But it's just not like a fun thing to buy. Next up I have foundation. I have four of those. Yes, Zorro. Come on, baby. Next up for face palettes, I have 10 of them. Now face palettes is kind of subjective, but <laughs> Zorro. I count it as being a face palette if it has more than one type of product in it or it has like several of the same. So like a blush palette that has like th over three br blushes I counted. But I think my blushes that had two blushes in them I counted as just a blush. Bronzers I had two which is not that surprising considering I don't often use bronzer anymore and a lot of the bronzers I do have I have in face palettes. Come on you little baby. For blush, I have 20 blushes, which I find a little surprising. 20. Highlighters, 19. Face powders, 4. Face sprays or setting sprays, I have 3. Face sponges, 4. Face brushes, 25. And that's a total face products, 102 items. Now for the fun stuff. My single shadows that are in magnetic pans in my magnetic palettes, I have 383. Single shadows that aren't magnetic pans, I have 65, which makes no sense to me. Eyeshadow palettes, 46. Pot liners, 10. Pencil or pen liners, 43. Mascaras, 7. Eye primer, 3. Lashes, 3. Brow products, 4. And eye or brow brushes, 53. For a total of 617. I think that's a little absurd. <laughs> and that's something that I think and hope I can narrow down more. For lips, I have 10 lip balms, 23 lip liners, 65 lipsticks, 34 lip glosses, 88 matte li liquid lipsticks, and 25 other liquid lipsticks. So those are like the satins or the velvets for a total lip products of 245. That number kind of shocked me because I had counted up my lipsticks at the end of 2019 when I was wearing one a day and I had 139. I ended up finding more. I wasn't counting my lip liners, but I still thought it was like more manageable then and I know I decluttered since then. I was forgetting that at that time I was counting like the lipsticks in use. I wasn't counting the ones that I have stored away as like the special ones and I wasn't counting the ones that I'd already put to the side as like possible declutters. And at this point, like the ones that are still sitting there as like possible declutters, it's like, how long am I going to keep sitting there as possible declutters? So I counted them all in this and that I really hope <laughs> I can narrow down. I'm not even a big fan of matte liquid lipsticks anymore. And the fact that I have the most of those, I have 88 of them. I know those are mostly old. I know I don't need most of those and I'm holding on to them so I can have this like complete makeup collection, but I don't need a complete makeup collection. I don't need a makeup collection for everyone on this planet to universally enjoy. I need one for me. And 88 matte liquid lipsticks 
that ain't it. Now just for like other kind of random things in my collection, I counted up the hair and skin products that are in my bedroom. I didn't count the ones that I keep in my bathroom. You know, I don't have much in there. I'm not like a shampoo hoarder. So for hair products, I have 15. And that too, I hope to like narrow down. Like I'm often tempted to just like throw out all my hair products and just like repurchase my like leave-in conditioner and my heat protectant and like that's about it. Skin products, I have 27. Nail polish, 107. I really like nail polish, but I don't need 107. Nail care products, I have three. Perfume samples, which I have been getting better recently about just like smelling them, being like, oh, this isn't for me, and then throwing it out. But somehow I still have 27 of them. <laughs> and then perfumes that are larger than samples. So some of them are kind of like the rollerball size or the full size, I have 12. And that brings me to a total other of 191. I just added up the total for all of the categories and it is 1,155 makeup products in my collection. That doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> I feel like, yes, baby. It just feels like that's so many products and my makeup collection doesn't feel that big, but it is. And hopefully throughout this year, I'll be able to narrow it down, figure out where it is, what I need, what I want. To set some goals, half of that would be 577. Two thirds of it would be 770. So I hope that when I count all this up at the end of the year, I can find myself somewhere between half and two thirds. It doesn't seem like that should be that hard, but like if I don't even know how I have this much stuff, we'll see. And that's everything. Thank you for being here. I hope you stick around to see how this process goes. Bye. Bye.